One of the most daunting landscapes on earth is that which we find in the interior of Arabia. Lehi and Sariah were dependent on the Lord to bring them through. I believe that it took them about a year to go from their first base camp down to Nahum. The reason is because that's when Nephi mentions the birth of the first children. As I read the text of the Book of Mormon, I suspect that Ishmael was already ill, or had been experiencing ill health, that that was one of the reasons why the family stopped from time to time to rest, to gather themselves, gather their strength, and then move on. During the Frankenstein's uh, uh, trade uh, journey, uh, I suppose that quite a number of people will die, because it's, it was a hard journey, definitely. It wasn't an easy journey. And when they die, uh, they will uh, carry it to the nearest place possible. Ishmael makes it this far south, but Ishmael finally, finally passes away. Uh, in Yemen, like in many ancient civilizations, they used to respect the dead very much. They would have buried Ishmael here to great mourning. One of the reasons the people felt to mourn is because he was an Israelite, and to be buried away from his home was something of a loss. The areas to bury were known along the Frankenstein's route. I'm sitting in a uh, Nehem burial ground that was discovered in 1994. The people who passed through this uh, area and died, they will bring to, to this burial and burial here whether they were uh, uh, Yemenis or foreigners from the north, from Mediterranean, or from uh, someplace else. They are uh, like small hives or small graves, mounds. And this area where is the uh, burial ground is belong to the tribe of Neh. It's certain that, that this place had a name before they arrived because Nephi very carefully writes the passive the place which was called Nahum. This is the area of name. Uh, uh, this is the land of name, and also the, the area of the tribe of name. The spelling in 1 Nephi 16 is Nahum, or Nahum, which has something to do with comfort. In ancient South Arabian, the letters NHM have to do with stone cutting, and may possibly refer to the kind of work that the people of this tribe did. The name is supposed to be coming from the root Nahama. And Nahama in ancient South Arabian language means to cut stone. We have to imagine what happened when Lehi and Sarai and their party heard this name after the death of Ishmael, that it meant something to them and they preserved it in the text.